Lawmakers and farmers in the northwestern Corn Belt continue to look for solutions to the rail issues that are plaguing the industry. The rail delays began this winter as cars and engines were diverted to move oil from North Dakota. That's driven up rail car costs. We're hearing rail cars are costing $4,000 a car just to get a car, which is uh, very, very expensive. You know, that's what the uh, market is bearing. That record cost is being passed down to farmers and is reflected in lower cash grain prices. Our base is lower right now this time of year should be about 29 cents. We're looking at 52 to 60 cents. Farmers and lawmakers have been working on a solution. As a result, the railroads have added cars and the Service Transportation Board has agreed to additional reporting. Now these updates will include the term rate for shuttle uh, uh, trains as well and that's an important um, metric for us to pay attention to. Unfortunately the rail issues are a long-term problem that may take several months or even years to work through. This Heartland Consumer Report is sponsored by Minnesota Soybean Farmers and their Soybean Checkoff.